Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with 2 Chronicles chapter 18, starting at verse 1. Jehoshaphat had riches and honor in abundance, and by marriage he allied himself with Ahab. And I'm going to stop right there. Technically, he didn't do anything wrong because he married another Israeli. I mean, the daughter of Ahab would be an Israelite by birth, and they were both royalty. And regardless of royalty, though, the laws of Moses specifically dictate you don't marry outside of Israel, unless they are also a worshiper of Yahweh. That is specified in the books of Moses. So he obeyed the letter of the law, but at the same time, he didn't really obey the heart of the law, because don't marry foreigners unless they serve Yahweh, a daughter of Ahab. I don't know if it's said anywhere in Scripture, and I don't like to make assumptions, but the chances of her being a worshiper of Yahweh, with her mother being Jezebel, very, very unlikely. All Jehoshaphat did by, by being allied with Ahab through that marriage, all he did was almost get himself killed, go down to... Verse 31, same chapter, so it was when the captains of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat that they said, It is the king of Israel. Therefore they surrounded him to attack. But Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him, and God diverted them from him. For so it was when the captains of the chariots saw that it was not the king of Israel, that they turned back from pursuing him. His endeavor, and also if you go back to 1 Kings, it talks about, when Jehoshaphat and Ahab were going out to battle, because this battle is talked about, the prophet said, the prophet of God, the name was Micaiah. He said, if it weren't for the fact that Jehoshaphat was here, Ahab, I wouldn't even be standing before you right now. Nothing, so God delivered him, God helped him, and who knows, maybe at some point she did convert, convert over to Yahweh worship. That would be a wonderful thing. What I do see... In the Old Testament is Solomon being turned away from God by a lot of the wives that he had that were not serving God. The Israelites were turned away from serving God and a plague brought out among them because they started marrying with some of the ites of the land before they had conquered Canaan. Over and over again, and this is not just directed at you ladies, this absolutely applies to the men as well. If any woman marries an ungodly man, he will also pull her down. The analogy is very, very simple. Let's say someone is hanging over a cliff. They have fallen, and then someone has you know, extended their hand to help grab that person and try to pull them up off the cliff. If the person so desired to try to pull the person down with them, and was opposing being pulled up, it would be incredibly simple for that person to drag that person off the cliff as well. It would be so easy if they weren't act. And it's hard enough if the person is actively trying to get back up as well. It's still hard as can be to pull that person back up. But if they're actively trying to pull you down as well, you're not going to pull them back up. You're going to fall. Marrying a non-believer is incredibly dangerous. And even if they go to the same church as you, even if they say they're a Christian, if their acts and their words do not match what a Christian should be, if they are, you know, yeah, they go to church every Sunday, but the way they live and what they actually believe when you talk to them, they're really not too sure about Jesus. They're really not living for him. There's quite a few sins involved in their life that, they're quite frankly not willing to put down. And again, this is on either man or woman's side. It doesn't matter. If you find that person, it doesn't matter what they say about, about going to church. It doesn't matter how often they go to church. It doesn't matter if they say that they're a Christian. If what they're saying doesn't line up with the Word of God, if their actions don't line up with the fruit of the Spirit, stay away from that person. It's going to hurt you. It is not going to help you. And because it's marriage... It can literally wreck your life. It can literally turn a life that was being lived for God in the complete opposite direction. 
it's bad news, and it's something to be stayed away from. Of all the things to get from this chapter, that's what I got. But as I was reading and as I was thinking about the point to talk about today, that was the one that just kind of echoed in my mind really, really strongly. Stay away from counterfeits. Stay away from substitutes. Don't accept anything but the best. If you And if you're surrounded by nothing but ungodly men or ungodly women, wait. Wait. Don't settle. Don't settle for less than what the Word of God talks about. Don't settle for less than what God's put on your heart. The wait will be worth it. Yeah, the waiting sucks, but it will be worth it one day. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.